In order to better illustrate the different kinds of sigma and pi bonds that we can have, we're going to do some examples. And this is a very simple example. We've seen this before, but just so you can see the procedure in which you want to go through this process, we're going to take another look at the uh, hydrogen bond, the, the bond between two hydrogen atoms. And again, you can take a look at the hydrogen. It's a single proton with a single electron in its first S orbital. When you put two of them together, they will bond like that. They will come together form an overlapping region between the s orbitals, put the two electrons there as the highest probability region is between the two, and that forms a negatively charged region attracting the two positive nuclei of the hydrogens. So what you want to do is you want to take a look at their electron structure like this with the Pauli principle here, in that we have our first 1s orbital put up. We realize there's only one electron in there. Whenever you have a situation where you have an orbital with one electron, there's the possibility for a valence bond, and that's exactly what this is. There's a valence bond, a sharing of electrons. And so the one electron of the 1s orbital for the one hydrogen joins in with the 1s orbital from the other hydrogen, like so, they join together, and then they can then form that overlapping region. So, very simplistic, and as you can see, that that's what you want to look for. You want to draw out the electron structure and see how many uh, orbitals there are with just a single electron within them.